Hi Libra, welcome to my channel. My name is Kemp. Today, Libra, you guys got electric eel spirit. Bring your ideas to life. So I'm getting a lot about manifestation. Like, what are you trying to create right now? What are you trying to bring to life? And I think for some of you guys, you finally just got clear on that. So for some reason, sometimes when we're trying to create something, we might be kind of all over the place and sometimes i think we want you know we're, we're not as clear as we think we are when we're starting to manifest or we're starting to create something like we're kind of like iffy about some things or we're just not doing it the right way or we you know we want like too many things at once I, I i heard this lady say like when you're trying to create something like focus on one thing at a time like yeah you can always manifest like many things at once but it's always better to just kind of focus on one thing at a time so i feel like with clarity that's kind of what's happening here like you're kind of just focusing on one thing at a time and with stimulation, I feel like that's you putting in a lot of effort into that one idea. So I really am getting like just a really big vibe of manifestation, like a big vibe of creating and bringing things to life that were just like in your head and now they're coming in. It could be a sign that your manifestations are around the corner. Um, it could also just be a sign that like you're clear now and that's gonna help enable these things to come in. So let's see where you're at. If you're in the beginning or the end stage of, the, of this idea, I'm kind of getting for some of you guys, you're like, kind of in the beginning and for others of you i feel like this is going to happen very quickly so let's see libra let's pull more so libra i think that this reading is kind of like encouragement for you guys to not give up on your power of manifesting. So I think a lot of you guys might think like you're not very powerful because something that you wanted kind of didn't work out the way you thought it would. I'm seeing here with the 10 of cups and the ace of cups in reverse that there was a situation with a person that like you wanted to work out really badly. I see with the six of cups, this is like someone who you kind of consider not only a soulmate, but like a friend. And I think you really wanted to manifest this into like union. You wanted to manifest this into more than a friendship. Like you put in a lot of work. But I'm getting here that above all else, <laughs> right? Like we have a lot of power, but above all else is the, like the power of the divine, the power of the universe. And I really feel like this was not meant for you. And I think that's hard for you to understand. I honestly think like if you really wanted this Libra, you could have it. Maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, maybe in 20 years, if you really wanted this person, you might honestly be able to have them. But I think the divine is just like trying to steer you into a different direction. And I'm getting right now is actually a beautiful thing because as opposed to before, you guys might have been like really specific with this one person. Like you wanted this to become a relationship. You wanted this to become a union. You were very specific on what you wanted. And there's nothing wrong with like trying to manifest something specific in a sense like, oh, I'm focusing on career. I'm focusing on love, my love life. You know what I mean? But I think what you wanted, like the outcome that you wanted was very specific. Do you know what I'm saying? And that's not what you're really supposed to do when it comes to like creation. And I think that was kind of the mistake, but nothing is a mistake. Like it's just a learning lesson. And I feel like the lesson here is that it's like two things. If the divine and the universe don't want something for you, they're going to do everything in their power to like take something out, <laughs> you know what I mean? Or move it along. And I'm getting here with this person. A lot of you guys, you didn't really understand, you know, why this was never going to work. Like, like, again, you kept putting a lot of energy into it. You kept trying and trying and trying. But this kept slipping out of your fingers. That's what I'm getting. And the reason that this wasn't supposed to happen was because there's a there's another plan out there for you. And I think a lot of you guys have a hard time understanding that because this is all you were seeing for a long time. So you guys you kind of have like tunnel vision where you're like you all you're seeing is this person, all you're seeing is the fact that you want them. You're not letting go of this. You're not allowing things to kind of flow the way they're naturally supposed to. So let's just say this person's like telling you that they're talking to somebody else, you know what I mean? Or they're dating someone else or they're not even they're ghosting you, right? but you keep like pushing and pushing and pushing this person towards you. 
um, and manifesting and manifesting this person, um, I just feel like you already have like red flags, you know what I mean? You already have the idea in your head that like maybe this is like, I think subconsciously like, eh, this might not work out, but I think you kept pushing and pushing and pushing it. So it's just a learning lesson, Libra. I think you just really wanted it and you really like put a lot of like of yourself into it. And that's what you're supposed to do when you're manifesting. So you're, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. But I think the outcome, it didn't happen like you wanted it to happen. Like maybe you, again, you wanted this person to be your 10 of cups. You wanted this person to kind of be the person you settled down with. And it didn't end up being that way. And I'm getting that you're like upset because one, you don't think that your powers work. <laughs> like you don't think like your power of creation works. And that's total bullshit. Like you can see here with these three cards that you do, you can bring your ideas to life. Um, very much so. Like that is the power and energy that you have. This was just not meant for you. And I think it's really hard to hear that sometimes because we want what we want <laughs> and we want to have it when we want to have it. And we, we don't really care like what the universe or the divine have planned for us. And we don't, we don't see, we can't see the future. So it's like, how are we supposed to know what's for us? But there, were, I, I get like, even if there were signs, like I just feel like you really tried and you put everything into this. And Libra, there's nothing wrong with that. Because again, when you're committed to something, you should like a, a, an idea on earth or you want to bring something to life, you should be committed to it. So there's nothing wrong with that. I'm just getting like, this just wasn't for you. And I think, I think that's for a reason. And I don't even think that you might understand that now, but like, I really think that's for a reason. I, I'm kind of getting that like, as, as this clear, this, this that you were focusing so much on, whether you know it or not, now that you stop focusing on it, something else is gonna come in and you're not gonna even want this anymore after what you, it's like something else comes in because you give it space to come in and then you don't, you're not gonna even want this anymore. I kinda wanna know what's coming in because I kinda get the idea that like, yeah, you're adamant about it. Yeah, you really want this. But then like, as soon as something else comes in, you're gonna be like, why, why did I want that? Hold on, let me see. Yeah, that's exactly what I was getting. So Libra, I think a lot of this was in your mind. Like this this person, what they brought to the table, like all the beautiful things that you, you know, thought of this person. I'm getting it was like all in your head, like a lot of it. And what do I mean by that? Again, this person could be amazing. This person could be great. But I think the person who really elevated you know the person you want to be with the per you know who who really like took this person to the next level wasn't this person themselves it was you in your mind creating like these fantasies about this person and creating like again like your ideas you wanted to bring them to life and all these ideas that you had of this person were so beautiful but like i don't even think this person was that beautiful <laughs> to be honest um they're coming up as a knight of wands in reverse this person is not reliable they could be a fire sign aries leo sag this is like a very unreliable person. This is somebody who like, I kept, I feel like they kept rejecting you or they, I think they like, like the fact that you're giving them attention and they kind of just kept you around for the attention, but maybe they weren't very serious because Knight of Wands is not serious. The Knight of Wands is all about like themselves, very selfish, very manipulative. Oh, what can I do today for myself? You know what I mean? It's not, it has nothing to do with anybody but me. And it's like, you fell into this trap with this person because of the idea that you have in your head of them. And I, I just feel Libra like, wow, like look at how you are seeing them. You're seeing them as an ace of cup, <laughs> which is divine. So you're seeing them as a divine soulmate and you're seeing them as your 10 of cups. So you're seeing them as all these beautiful things and how I feel like this person, I don't even know how they're viewing you. I'm just getting that they don't even have a lot of respect for themselves. Like they're a fucking knight of wands in reverse. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? Like, you're coming up as the king of air. It doesn't matter if you're a feminine or a masculine, but you're coming up as a king. You know what I'm saying? You're coming up with a lot of... I want to say, like... Power. 
And if I would say like, what is a king of air? He's always just, right? He's always someone who's fair. He could be harsh, but he's fair. So like, this is the, this is the energy you're bringing in, right? And then look at the energy of this person. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, you're not, there's no way that you, this person is what you think they are, you know? And it's sad because, again, you view them so beautifully. And your ideas are just so beautiful, Libra. And that's what they're trying to say, I think, in this read. Like, don't, like, go over your dreams. Like, just because your dreams with this person didn't work out doesn't mean, like, your dreams overall should be wasted or spoiled. I, I honestly am getting, like, this person... <laughs> I mean, it's not, nothing's clearer than the fact that this person comes out of the nine of wands in reverse. Like, come on, yo. This is, like, despicable. This is, like, disgraceful. Like, it's not on your level. Do you know what I'm saying? This per this is not someone that you start an ace of cups with. Like, the divine would never give you this. Do you know what I'm saying? If the divine's going to give you a present, I'm literally, at, I was looking at purses the other day, and it's like, if the, the divine was a purse, right? If the divine was going to give you a purse, they wouldn't give you, like, a five dollar i don't know um bodega like i don't even they don't even sell purse at the bodega but like some like rinky dinky like five dollar purse that you could get at like i don't know the dollar store right like that's not what you would be get, getting from the divine the divine would be giving you like a fucking i don't know what's like the most expensive purse like an hermes right <laughs> chanel like vintage like once the only like three made like type bag that's what the divine gives right this is like a rinky dinky five dollar uh dollar store bur bur person you know what i'm saying like i'm so sorry like to tell you to like be like hey libra but nida wands in reverse come on come on like you could have done so much better and that's literally why this did not come into manifestation and i think a lot of you guys i know you want to believe that this person was not you know, you you put them as an Hermes, you know what I mean? You put them on that level. They're like literally a dollar store bag, if even that. Like, I wouldn't even buy this person from the dollar store, do you know what I'm saying? Like, they're so unreliable that you buy it and it'd break on the way, to, on the way home, do you know what I'm saying? That's this person here. And it's just sad because I feel like you put so much love and energy into this person and time and you really like, I see you, like, you gave this person your hand, like, you tried your best with this person and this person couldn't reciprocate but it's like they're not on your level to be able to reciprocate libra like not even close like not even a little bit not even like again you're not even the same league you're not even like i can't even <laughs> so yeah you're coming up here as i feel like this is what the person that you've been waiting for is going to come in with queen of cups again it doesn't matter the gender but you're coming close to a queen right so if you're a king you need a queen if you're a queen you need a king right you need somebody that sees things the way you see things and i'm getting that this is the person that's going to give you their heart right somebody who is very much like you someone who really cares about feelings and emotions and like values them and wants to create beautiful things with you not this rinky dinky uh dollar 99 purse like you know what i'm saying this person um and it's so sad because i just see you have so much love for them libra but like in reality they're not what they maybe they're like very attractive i'm trying to think like what could it be but i don't think it's about attraction to you like i really think for libra it's all about the friendships you have with this person the way you view them like you just respect them and you give them so much love and attention and i just feel bad because i definitely see like they didn't do that in return for you because like there's no way they could do that though because like look at who they are do you know what i'm saying so it's kind of like how could they ever be on that level like they weren't they're not made for that and again, everyone has potential, but like right now, if we were talking about who this person is, this is where they're at. And it's just sad because like I see you gave so much love and attention to them. And Libra, it's okay to feel a little off balance because of like the fact that you put so much time and effort into somebody like this. But all I'm going to say, Libra, is that someone better is out there for you with the Queen of Cups coming up at the end. I think this person might regret what they've done. I think they will. But they're they're just on such a low... I don't want to say they're not smart, but, like, they're just so low in terms of compared to you. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, king and queen versus this. Like, it's not... There's no comparison. Do you know what I'm saying? 
And I feel like what hurts you the most is that like you put a lot of energy into this. Do you know what I'm saying? That you did put a lot of time into this. But don't worry about that. Don't worry about the time. Like if if we lived in a world where like there was no clocks and shit like that, you 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 literally could look at it that way. Like you left when the energy like the energy between the two of you might be like it's it's kind of gone, right? And the connection is I feel like broken whatever happened happened and I feel like as much as you might see it as like a bad thing that this person that you put so much time and effort into is not around I see it as wow thank god <laughs> thank god this person is not around like it doesn't matter to me if it took you 20 years to figure this lesson out I'm just so glad they're not there anymore do you know what I'm saying so I think Libra give yourself some credit just understand that like someone is coming in that's gonna like be able to give you what you need and what you deserve and it's that cup energy you had so much love for them i mean this is cup 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 you know what i'm saying you have so much love for this person and i'm seeing that your ideas are beautiful like your manifestation like what you technically desire you want an ace of cups you want a ten of cups you want a six of cups do you know what i'm saying like you're you want the full package and you're gonna get that libra it's just not with this person okay we have the emperor here so this might be you moving on like chariot like i'm out i'm moving i'm doing my own thing and i think that would be the most beautiful thing that could happen here because this happy ending that you want was never gonna be with this person okay so now i see like you're leaving in so much space for something better to come in and i think that's this queen of cups here it doesn't matter the gender just think about the energy someone who's very giving and i like that it's coming up as a feminine energy because i think a lot of men it, like let's say say you're a woman you're watching this i think a lot of men their masculine side might be okay but like what how's their feminine side doing you know what i mean like are they very emotionally uh, are they emotionally vulnerable like are they very loving like what's the vibe of this person i'm getting the person coming in they're the type of person that can express themselves right like a queen of cups definitely knows how to show love she definitely likes to receive love do you know what i'm saying so i feel like this is here to let you know that there's nothing wrong with you there's nothing wrong with your ideas and your your beautiful dreams you were just with the wrong person and the right person is here so they're coming in. I feel like Cherry is kind of them saying, like, this person's coming in, okay? So don't be sad. <laughs> don't waste any more time on this person, please. <laughs> if I could give you any advice, it would be, like, don't worry. Like, trust me, you like you dodged a bullet. And you didn't even dodge it because if you, it was up to you, you'd be with this person. Um, the divine helped you out. <laughs> and I, I mean, I, I want to get on my knees and thank them for you. Um, and maybe right now you're not like at that level to thank them because you're still kind of salty about it. But trust me, again, I t I'm telling you, like you're going to look back and and think like, thank God. You know what I mean? Thank you, God. So, uh, yeah, let's give you some advice, Libra. I love you guys. Okay, Libra, I just I want to get the book out because I want to read to you a little bit about this. You guys got Ariadne, the mistress of the labyrinth. My soul knows the way and the only way out is through. So yeah, I think that you guys have kind of been in the maze in a sense. Like you've been making, going left, going right. Like trying really hard to find the door out. You know what I mean? Trying really hard to get to the, the end. And what's the end? You know, I think the end for you would have been this working out with this person. But I think the end is now you getting out of this maze and you're alone. You know what I mean? This person is not there. And again, it's not the ending that you had imagined. But I think, again, I'm t again we talked about why I think that, 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 is, that played out the way it did. And let's read what this card says. It says that she is the symbol of hope and divine assistance. Exactly. You guys really needed the divine assistance, even if you don't know it. Like, trust me. This person, my God, that you tried to take with you. <laughs> um, yeah. So, yeah, they want you to, the step-by-step -step process we can take to move through a difficult time or to confront an injustice in your life. So, yeah, you might feel like it's not, it's not fair in a sense, but trust me, thank God, like, you're not getting what you wanted back from this person not that they weren't even capable of giving it to you but like let's just say they they wised up and they learned a little bit and they tried they would fall short every time 
like it's just a fact it's like I, I literally couldn't I wouldn't lie and I really feel like you guys it's just your your love for this person that blinds you okay um, it says her message is that our courage is always rewarded when we seek to end in a necessary pattern or routine that is no longer serving us, it can feel as insurmountable as facing a horned part man, part beast that lives in the dark maze inside of us, pure terror, but the soul always wants our freedom and the divine is what liberates, not confines. Exactly, the divine liberated you from this. And again, I'm telling you, if it was up to you guys, you'd be literally with this person. So <laughs> I would literally be thanking God right now for the blessings that you have in terms of them seeing that this person was just so not good for you and then kind of pulling them away from you even though you were gripping onto them like i'm picturing velcro so <laughs> i love you libra so much learn just understand that i know it doesn't feel just or great at this time but your ideas and your power to manifest is very strong and powerful and the only thing that can come between the, you and your, your ideas and your, what you're trying to create is the divine. And there was a lot of divine interference. But I think it was really justified. And I think if you start to see it that way, start try, like try to see it that way now, not when you get this person. Because I feel like this person is on, its w on their way in. You freed up so much space. Like this person is going to come in. And this is the right person for you. I just keep getting like you're gonna be so thankful once you meet the new person but like start to be thankful now trust me even if you can't see even if you don't understand why just be thankful trust me i see why um and it, it's like yeah i would get on my knees right now <laughs> and, and be like thank you so much so yeah i love you libra i hope this helps and i'll see you guys next time bye